Hey guys, so on this episode of Make It With Calvin, I'm gonna be talking about this paint holder project and why it's a good example of compromising on a design, but why that also isn't necessarily a bad thing. So let's talk about it. So the whole basis for this project was for the longest time, I've literally just had my paint containers in various boxes. And every single time I'd go to try and paint something, it'd be really hard to find things. I've made the spray can organizer, which I can't tell you how handy that thing comes in when I can just walk on over there, grab a spray can, spray paint my items, put it back, job done. And I said to myself, now that I'm trying to do more train projects, why don't I try and make myself some paint organizers? I've got the K40 laser. It's a great idea. So this is what I came up with initially, and I'll explain why I say that in a minute. This is just a simple little paint organizer that can be cut out of one piece of wood that is eh, relatively eight and a half by 11-ish inches, which is about the maximum size that fits into my K40 laser. And the nice thing about making it a one sheet job is I don't have to have a bunch of random offcuts that I'm trying to dig through to find something that works. It's just quick, simple, to the point, and it gets it done. Is it the world's prettiest paint organizer? Absolutely not. But the point is function over form here. Now, what I decided to do was design this to fit the True Color, which is a brand that is currently for sale, Polyscale, which is no longer around, and Pactra Aircraft, which I believe is still around, fit those sizes of bottles. Now, the Polyscale and the Pactra bottles are a little bit smaller than the True Colors, but if there's a little bit of play in there, it's not that big of a deal. One other thing I did was put in openings in the top and also the bottom panel as well so I could stick in paint brushes so I can keep brushes that I'm currently using or things like that with this and if this is an in-use project I can keep the brushes up there to dry when they're cleaned I don't have to go gee where's my brush at now send a photo of this to a friend of mine and he goes wow that's really cool what about making one that can fit the acrylic tubes that you get at Walmart, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, places like that? So that sent me down the road of a slightly compromised design, but why that's actually not necessarily a bad thing. So the compromise that I came up with was keeping the whole sizes the same. Yes, these are a little bit looser of a fit, but you know what? It doesn't need to be anything precise. It's just keeping it all in one spot. And as long as it's not totally taking up a ton of space, I think we're doing okay. The other thing that I did is I designed it so it has the capabilities for two different heights. So we have this slot here. If you wanna use the True Scale, Pactra, all that size stuff in terms of the paint containers. But if you wanna use taller containers, such as these cheap acrylic tubes, you can glue it in at the bottom here and get the maximum height so it's a little bit more stable. Now to be perfectly clear, you can take and stick one of these in here. It's just, it tends to be a little bit more tippy. So personal choice. So that's why I say this is a compromise. Yes, it's a little bit ugly having the slots on the side here. Yes, the paint containers might wiggle a little bit more than I want to, but for the sake of simplicity, and not having to deal with 50 different file types for every single little thing, this was the way to go. Now, if you've seen this and you think it's really awesome and you want to get one for yourself, I will have a link to this down in the description below to my Etsy shop where you can purchase these. And if you guys wanna see paint organizers for a specific type of paint, please let me know and also give me the bottle dimensions and no promises, but I will see what I can do for you because honestly, these kinds of things are really handy to have. So I hope you guys enjoyed. You'll check out the Etsy shop if you're interested and I'll see you here next time on Make It With Calvin.